Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I do my goddess um braids, how I insert my curls, and just um and also I do not dip this one. I feel like whenever I do the goddess braids, I don't dip them just because of when you dip them, it's going to damage the curls again. It just depends on the curls that you're using. If you're using the if you're trying to braid the braid in here and then use like the roller to curl your clients here, of course you can dip those one because of the, the curls are gonna come from the braids. But I'm using a separate hair for the curls and separate hair for the braid as well. So first I'm going to be showing you how I make my very clean part. So first I just you know do like a rough draft which is making your parts, you know, comb your client through your client's hair through making sure your lines are you know straight or close to being straight at least i am not great with lines but um i know that i do try my best when it comes to them and we're going to be doing size size um size small but around the neck area i try to give it a little bit of weight just because it's usually like the softest part of your client's hair or softest part of any hair at all your your um the back and also the edges as well and after this, I'm going to go ahead and add my edge control so I can make the plait, um cleaner. Just make it more clean silk and just, you know, well laid back. So I'm going to go ahead and just make my line again. And that is what I'm going to um, do for the rest of my client's hair. I did use the rural braiding hair for my braiding hair. And for the curls, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've had the curls for a minute, so I just used one of the curls that I saw. And I'm relocating to dollars or to text that yeah, that dollars really um soon. So I'm very disorganized as of right now. So I'm just using whatever I see. So now I'm going to show you how I insert my client my client's um curves. Um again, you know I'm putting my edge control through, and now we're going to um start braiding. Yeah, I don't know what happened to my voice, guys, but sorry. Um, so now we're going to start braiding. So it's a knotless goddess braids. So you're just going to go like, you know, go your regular way. Start, um, start inserting my braiding hair. And, um, and after that, I'm going to show you how I insert my curls after I'm um, inserting my braiding hair. So for the root area, um, try to be as firm and as, as tight as you, you know, you need to be. Of course, not too tight. My client never complains, so clearly it's not too tight. But but yeah, just because of the neck area is very very soft, and your braids can easily slip through. So you want to just you know be firm and just try your best. So now I'm going to go ahead and insert my curls the way I insert my braids. So that is it. I'm going to insert it, and I'm going to take that one part and just hang it in there. Instead of braiding with it the way I do with my braids, I'm going to hang one part. It could be the left, it could be the right, but I need to hang something there. And I'm just going to continue braiding. And then I'm going to do the same thing when I get to like almost the end. And then that is how I insert my curls. There are other ways in which you can insert your curls. I think I showed another way to insert your curls in this tutorial. But um, if I'm inserting my curls towards the roots... um. Sorry, yeah, towards the roots of my client. This is how I insert it. It's even easier this way. Why sometimes you can just insert them. You know how you do like your extended braids? How you add on braids as how you add on braids as you braid. The same thing you do for your curls. You can add on the curls as you braid and then just hang it in there just so that you know it's no distraction. Again, people usually like braid and then crochet your curls into it. And people somebody have asked me, does your curls last last longer? when you crochet it or when you braid it in to me personally it lasts longer when you braid it in because of when it's crochet when you kind of comb through your hair with your fingers it's just like sliding back and forth you know but when you braid it in it's just more it's more easy to handle you know i mean when it gets tangled you can just cut your braids but if the crochet gets tangled i don't know it's just hard to maintain and just hard to cope with over overall and that's just, you know, how I feel. But I haven't really crocheted my client's curves or anything like that. But my clients come for, like, a new curves because sometimes they will have their hair for, like, two months or a month. They still love their braids, but they just want to change their curves. Then I do the crochet thing for them, and they're aware of that. You get what I'm saying? Or they, they even do the crochet thing by themselves if they want to. But generally, the best is to braid your client's curves, you know, into your into the braid just so that it's more easy to handle 
and for the maintenance for this style all you need is just the mousse and like hairspray basically that's all you need and also the curls was added into every other braid so it doesn't have to be every braid now if your clients want it really really curly i like my really really curly when i'm doing my own hair i'm gonna do it like almost every braids but know that um some clients don't want it like that or you might not want it like that so i did it for her i did like every other braid as you can see we had four braids at the you know the first line and i only had curls in two of them so that is what i mean so every other braid or sometimes you skip two and then do another one so just basically you're going to see where it needs some curls and then you're going to go ahead and just add as you go and yeah this is the um size small and the length is going to be made back and we're using color too if you have any questions feel free to ask me and please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll be seeing you guys in my next video thank you